Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new and you don't know who I am, my name is Mona Lisa and welcome to my little space on the internet. Many of you would be following me on my Instagram, hey to those guys and if you're not following me on Instagram that's where it's popping most of the time so come and follow me at Mona's Eyes. Um, but a lot of you know that I travel a lot for work, whether it's in the UK or abroad, overseas, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I also go into the city a lot for a long period of time. So I always like to take a suitcase with me. So I thought I would put together this little video because I am going away next week to Switzerland. So I wanted to kind of tell you what are my... Um, my essentials. I travel a lot and I've kind of felt like I've got this down to a T in a sense of what I cannot leave behind. So although this differs from person to person you can change it up and you know customize it to your needs but this is how I like to travel and this is what you'll find in my carry-on. So with that being said I thought this year it would be great to kind of up my luggage game so when I am traveling whether it's in the city on the train on through an airport I'm going to be traveling in style so I have got this gorgeous Lippolt suitcase the color is gorgeous it does come up a bit brown but I assure you it is burgundy. Now this is their collaboration that they have done with Jean-Paul Cartier, which many of you know. I feel like Jean-Paul Cartier just takes me back to like my teens and the iconic Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances of the man and the woman, the woman bottle in her corset and the man in his stripy top. Hence you can see the accents of that in this luggage. Um, it has a zip in the front which I think is so key for me because I can put all my valuables in here and it's easy access without having to open up the whole luggage and then when you open it up as well you get that whole corset um, effect that is such a beautiful champagne colour and then you have a place on this side where you can put, this is where I usually put all my laundry, like my socks, my underwear, and I've got like a little laundry bag which I keep in here when I'm on my way back and I have my dirty laundry. So yeah, I thought this is just so stylish and so gorgeous and it's very light, which is key as well. And it's just the little attention to detail, the gold detailing, um, the luggage tag, and then when you open up the handle, it is in gold, the gold trimming here on the inside. They have thought of everything and there's an extra handle as well, which is great for someone like me who's getting on the tube or the train and there's stairs involved. I can just um, use this handle to hold on to it. Another key function of this bag as well, which I just love, is the fact that when you lay it flat and you open up the pocket, it opens up at the top, where most suitcases just think it is like a box and you have to open it up fully. So people can actually see both sides of your suitcase, whether you carry your um, underwear and your you know personal items in one side and then your clothes on the other. So that's what I hate. So if you have to take anything out of your suitcase, you have to open it like that. It's so much more discreet. I need to quickly grab a notepad or a charger. No one's going to be seeing all my dirty laundry. So it just has a lid at the top instead of a normal standard mini suitcases where it opens up like a book. That was really important for me. And then also what I think is absolutely key, it has four sturdy wheels that move around in any direction so I can literally use the handle and push it around with me wherever I go and again that's just really practical really easy and that's what you want when you're traveling so it does have a little bit of a hefty price tag but it's one of those you wherever you're going you're going to be going in style and it is an investment piece but I do know that they currently have a 20% off um discount code so I'll share that and plus with Black Friday coming up now is the time to buy so yeah I've been getting loads of compliments with this suitcase wherever I'm going um, although it does show up brown on camera it is burgundy it comes in black and burgundy so yeah so that is one of my travel essentials so I had to give that a little shout out 
let's go through with what I take with me on my carry-on. Now, I think with me, when I'm traveling so much, um, you don't want to be getting sick. So I feel like germs and bacteria is a main issue for many people. Of course, I carry around a little antibacterial bottle now this is from mercy handy and it's in the scent black vanilla it smells so so lovely and i think if you're tra if you're on a plane or you um don't like the handles and or like the tray table which i feel like carries the most dirt what i usually do i put some of this on a tissue and then i wipe it all around going along with the whole trying to be healthy and not getting sick I feel like that is the worst when you're traveling I know for me I just always get sick and if you would have watched a couple of my travel vlogs I am mostly really ill on, on them so I have now started to carry a little sachet of vitamin C with me now this helps with my energy and my immune system usually I'm up really early and the schedules for the day are super jam-packed so I need to be on top form so just having one of these little sachets in my carry-on so I can take it on the train or on my journey it's just it's just really really handy for me on the similar theme what else I have in my bag is just like plasters and paracetamols I think that's just like so essential next I always like to carry a little bit of face spray with me usually when I land or wherever I get to my destination we are going straight into activities or events so I like to carry this mini bottle of the Jolique rose water balancing mist just to spray on my face, hydrate me, make me feel so much more refreshed. Along with that, I have my a dry shampoo. This is a mini size from Batiste because you want to be looking ready. So if you've just left the airport and you're going to meet a business partner or you're going to a meeting, whatever, having this in your hair just to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, make it fresher is essential so this is always in my bag and then kind of going if I do need to sleep which a girl like me I I do find it hard I have to admit sleeping while traveling but I'm learning to because if I don't sleep I get so cranky and I feel like it does like not really set me up for the rest of the day so I've been carrying around earplugs with me my friend Jamie always has earplugs with her so I've taken a leaf out of her book and started to wear earplugs ear gloves ear plugs so especially like on the planes and stuff if they've got those free headphones i like to put these on and then i put those headphones on and then it's like double cancelling out the noise and then of course an eye mask <laughs> this one is super cute i got this from benefit cosmetics but if you don't want to be sleeping with this side on your face it is reversible so you could have it on the plain side where you don't look as cray cray and um, I don't think this is like designed for it but I've had some like eye masks where it doesn't actually close the gap here between your eyelids and your nose I don't know why but this actually fits flat against my face so I don't get no like light peeping through um, and like I said like sleep is just now been so important to me as I'm getting older so this is coming with me everywhere. One thing that I actually don't have with me, which is currently in my washing basket, ready for my next trip to Switzerland next week, are travel socks. I get swollen so bad. So I like to have travel socks with me and you can just buy them in the airport or Amazon. I never used to be that girl who wore travel socks because I just used to think they were so unflattering but honestly it just helps because I like to take my shoes off when I'm in an aeroplane so there'll be times where I actually couldn't put my feet back into my shoes so I'd always have to carry around flip-flops which actually takes up valuable carry-on suitcase space especially if you're traveling like in the UK I don't know um, about the rest of the world but in the UK you have to sometimes pay extra for luggage so most times I just travel with a carry-on and I've been getting really really good at just having my key essentials numerous outfits um, so yeah I might do a separate video on how to strategically just travel for like a week with just a carry-on give this video a thumbs up if you want to watch that and of course being a beauty blogger influencer I couldn't go anywhere without my iPhone chargers my camera chargers and my adapter this is like a universal adapter it's for europe it's for the states and the uk um i got this 
again at the airport I get most of my travel essentials from the airport because you don't realize you need them until you're in the airport and you're screwed so you could probably get this cheaper on Amazon but yeah I really really like this the fact that it is just really dual usage I'll have like three of these when I travel and yeah iPhone um, charger camera charger always comes with me on my carry-on I wouldn't risk putting it in my main luggage in case it gets lost and then I couldn't think of anything worse landing at my destination and not having any iPhone battery oh that would be a nightmare I don't know what I would do so these are always in my carry-on luggage also what I have is a hairbrush of course every girl's got to have a hairbrush with her I have this one from Tangle Teaser it's cute it's compact and what I love is that the bristles like this Oh my god, there's actually some hair on it from some of my hairs on it. But it has really good bristles, it really combs through. This is the only hairbrush I take with me when I'm traveling. You can ginger up your hair with it, and it comes with a cap as well, so that the bristles don't get flattened whilst it's in your bag. I also have my sunglasses. I always have a pair of sunglasses with me. These are my Mew Mew ones, I love them because got just extra bling and they go with most outfits they are actually really dirty <laughs> I need to clean them but yeah always got to have these with me just in case if you're at the airport you've got an early start and you've got bags under your eyes you put these on while you're traveling when you arrive in a sunny location you could put them on like they hide a multitude of sins and I always carry a hair clip versus a hairband actually I feel like you could get so many different looks out of a hair clip super chic and stylish you could throw your hair in a bun a half up half down do anything really especially when i put it in a bun and then i just tie it at the bottom it looks like i've made more of an effort than i actually have and this was just from primark i think it was like two pounds for a set of two really handy another thing which i like to carry around with me in terms of like cosmetics is lip balm i just love a good lip balm and this one is from elizabeth arden it is their eight hour cream now what i love about this is it can be used on your lips it can tame your brows it could give you you can use it on your skin to hydrate to give you that subtle um highlight glow i like to just put it on here um and i get super trapped lips when i'm traveling um i can use it on my cuticles i can use it on any like dry patches on my skin i get a little bit of chicken skin i think that's what it's called like patches of just like really bumpy skin and this works wonders i love it and because it's 50 mil you can put it in your carry-on luggage in your bag it is just a lifesaver product I always have like a mini toothpaste as well and a toothbrush because sometimes you just want to like freshen your breath you know and just give your teeth a good brush so usually whenever I land I'll pop into the toilets and I'll give my teeth a good freshen up and perfume so I keep these little mini perfumes, some from advent calendars, some from gift bags. I love this scent, it's from La Via Belle but in a mini from Lancome. And then I have the Miss Dior from Dior mini one that I actually got free because um, I was buying something in duty free from Dior and they gave me a mini sample. So I always keep those because you want to be smelling fresh all the time. Other things I like to carry on my carry-on is earphones as well. I actually need to, it's on my Christmas list to upgrade. I've seen these noise cancelling ones. They don't look as stylish as Beats headphones, but they're the ones that I want because I hate when you're trying to watch a movie or listen to some music and you can still hear, hear people in the background or kids screaming. So um, I think they're from Bosch. They're on my Christmas list. At the moment, my iPhone earphones come with me, but once I get my new ones, they're going to be swapping them through. Another thing that I always carry with me, which I'm not going to show you, is feminine hygiene products and pads and tampons because you just don't know when an accident might happen. And the worst case scenario is if you are on your period and you're traveling and there's nowhere to buy a pad or a tampon. So I actually carry them sometimes for other women so women supporting women if one girl gets caught out and she desperately needs them i love to be there and be like hey i've actually got spare i've got you girl always carry spare underwear and a change of clothes and a change of um shoes more comfortable shoes or like high heels um either or whatever i'm wearing 
with me for just because you never know what actually might happen to your checked in luggage also what I carry which I find is so helpful most people I mean I don't know why they do this on airplanes but it is freezing and I used to be that kind of person that would carry a spare jumper then I'd be that person that would carry an actual travel blanket but then I thought when space is tight and you really need things that you can multi-use I just carry a really good big scarf that I can wrap around myself or use as a blanket and because of that I invested in a really lovely scarf so this one is from Louis Vuitton as you can see is a bit creased at the moment but I just think it's so chic so wherever you are you can just throw it all over yourself and you just feel like you're ready for anything whether it's a dinner or a meeting in an airport or you might find your future husband on your flight you are in a chic scarf not like an super baggy jumper which takes up a lot of space uh, and then finally this is one that my mum has kind of instilled in me and I wanted to share it on to you maybe you guys know about it but always carry cash I feel like it's totally underestimated sometimes you land at different times of the night and you're just desperate for cash and we do live in a society where it's always like chip and pin or even just touch screen or use your phone well no when you're traveling it is essential just to have a little bit of cash with you and that is something that I always do and have my ID and have my passport so I'm so excited for my trip to Switzerland I'll be doing video content out there plus I'll be preparing for vlogmas this year I'm gonna do my hardest to vlog every single day or every other day so please subscribe and turn on that notification button so you're up to date with everything that I do so thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video Mwah.